Right, here's the problem. You've got a box and you've got something with jack sockets which are going to stick through that way. But you want to be inside. So you need to know where the holes are going to be. So the easiest way and cheapest way is to get an old milk bottle and cut bits out of it. It's a strip out. So that's the strip which has to fit in the box just here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix the strip on here and then fold that over so that when we make marks on the inside with these we make marks on the outside so it's sandwiched so one of the things we can use actually fasten things on is, is a bit of blue tack. The first thing we do is put blue tack on there and spread it very 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 thinly. very thin and then we offer up the sockets so they make an impression and they'll stick so they've made a mark now we we'll gently take it off and we can see where the holes are going to be Take a close look at that. And we can just get a spare piece of wood and mark through mark through the holes. So that's in the middle and press through. And the next one in the middle and press through. So what you've got then is some holes on this side. Just get in focus. We've got two holes and they're the drill holes that's where they're going to be. So we'll put this back on, put this back exactly on there Offer it up. And then um, we've got, see where the holes are going to be on that side. So just make sure the board's pressed fully in. You have to make sure that this is not, not bent over because the accuracy will go. So it's got to be reasonably well creased and straight up. And that's that done. And you'll see there we get closer in and that's how to accurately mark holes for cutting without using any measuring devices.